Hi all, it's Jack from Preact here and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use real-time triggers in Dynamics 365 Marketing to go ahead and create an abandoned cart notification. Let's jump in and take a look at how it works. As you can see, I'm currently in the Dynamics for 365 Marketing app. The first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and create a trigger. To do this, you're going to need to make sure that you are in the real-time marketing area. Coming into real-time marketing, you'll be able to go ahead and click on triggers. Within here, you'll need to go ahead and click on new trigger. And within here, we can give it a title and a description. At the bottom, we can add in different attributes. And these are going to be data that I can pull through from our website. For instance, you may want to pull through product name, product type, product price, and so on. Now that I've added my attributes, including the product URL, so I can redirect people back to their abandoned cart, I can go ahead and click on the next button. At this point, it's going to ask us to integrate the code. Now, your web developer can come in and download one of these code snippets and apply it to your website. In this case, though, we're not going to be using a code snippet. Instead, we're going to be using Power Automate to automatically trigger off this trigger. As that's the case, we're not going to download or copy the code snippet. We're just going to go ahead and click Next. As you can see, you can now mark this as ready to use. And once you have marked this as ready to use, you'll be able to go ahead and use this in a journey. As you can see at the top of the page, it's currently in a get getting ready state. This is going to take a few minutes to complete. As you can see, this has now successfully gone through. At the top, it says pending integration. A customer journey can only be triggered after the trigger is integrated. All that this means is we need to fire off this trigger at least once for it to know that it's been successful. As we're going to be using Power Automate to fire off this trigger, let's pop over into Flow and take a look at how we can start building it. The first thing we need to do is take a look at how we're going to go ahead and trigger this flow. Because this is a demo, I have got the option to manually trigger and I'm going to be using this for the purposes of the demo. But to give you an idea of another way that we could do it, we're going to be taking a look at this webhook that I've got set up here. I've got a website set up for demonstration purposes using a website builder called Wix. Coming over to here, they have a webhook that is already set up for when a customer abandons a cart. Once a customer has abandoned a cart, Wix is going to go away and send out a HTTP post request and we're going to use Power Automate to pick this up. Popping back into Flow, we can see that I've got my HTTP webhook that's using the subscribe method of post and we've got a our subscribe URL within here as well. This will then allow us to pull through all of the information that Wix is passing to us. Once we've received the HTTP post, we can come in and perform an unbound action. We're going to choose the action name here, and this is the name of our trigger in Dynamics 365 Marketing. Below this, we have all of our different variables that we created for our trigger. I've hard coded these, but if you wanted to put in a variable to pull directly from the API request that you've had, you can put all of these variables in here. Once you have built out your unbound action, you can go ahead and test this flow. After clicking test, you can see here that it's showing that, the, that my flow is running. and You can see the little green tick here to show that these steps have been successful. We're now going to pop back into the marketing app and take a look at our trigger. Because we know that the flow has fired, we're going to go ahead and create a journey that includes this trigger. We're first of all going to give the journey a name. And we're going to choose the type of journey, and in our case, it's going to be a trigger-based journey. Next up, we need to choose our trigger that we've just created, 
And now we can go ahead and click on the Create button. We can now go ahead and start building out our journey in the same way that we would in the Outbound Marketing app. We can also go ahead and add goals such as what do we want to do with this, do we want to drive sales, do we want to get responses, and we can set targets and goals off the back of that. I finished building out our journey so let's take a look at what it's doing. From the top we've got our trigger firing off. From here it then does an if statement and takes a look at the product price. If the product price is over 30 then it's going to go ahead and send our forgetting something email. If not, then it's going to send our unsure about pulling the trigger 20% discount code inside. Now we can go ahead and publish this. Now that the journey has been successfully published, let's go ahead and trigger our flow again to see if it's all working. Now that we run our flow, if we go back to our journey and give it a minute and then refresh, we should see that this journey has successfully run. It's been about five minutes and I've just refreshed the page and as you can see in the top right hand corner, it's showing that we've had a total inflow of one. So we now know that this journey is working correctly. Hopefully this video has given you a bit of an insight into how we can build abandoned basket functionality into Dynamics 365 for marketing. It may also have given you an idea of some of the other things that we can do with triggers. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions regarding the real-time marketing feature. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more of our videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.